say this is unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. Today, we are talking about love, money, and divorce. On to our first question. Do you think people are dating for love or money? Let us know what you think on our comment section at unfinished Y254. I think nowadays in this generation we are in, people are really dating for wealth. That's what I can say. But it depends with the perception of a person. Yeah. It depends with the, the mentality of a guy or a woman. Uh, some people go outside there to find a relationship where they can get money or they can get health, wealth, I mean, yes. I think, you know, first it depends. There are some ladies who are actually interested in money. And uh, so long as if, uh, if they find someone who is, uh, is wealthier, that they are, in fact, they can express their love to them. But in the real sense, they are not for the love. They are just after the wealth. So some people, some ladies, actually are interested in love. In fact, um, one I can testimonize, uh, I've gone under those circumstances, and I experienced that there was a lady I was dating some few years ago, and uh, the lady told me that she was only interested in love. Actually, she was ready to express her love to me, for me. So I came to my realization that it depends with the kind of lady you have. So most of them, some of them, let me use the term some of them, are interested in money. And uh, if I say I talk about money, wealth is, is included. So some of them are interested in love. And actually, but most of them are interested in money. That's what I've realized. Because you can find that you have a lady who loves you, but you have nothing to offer her. When she finds someone who is ready to offer her money, or is ready to take her out, some of those kind of things, you will find that the love, if it was uh, 50%, you will realize that it is reducing. So after that, you will just realize that, uh, from there you will just realize that it is money, which most of them are, in, are interested in. Uh, on that question, I think uh, for me, on my own perspective, I see people differ, okay? There are some who date for money, but uh, I will say most of the people now currently are dating because of money. Yeah, and mostly it comes from our, our other gender, the female gender. They want someone who is stable, so that uh, when they are together, at least you will not lack most of the basic needs. You know, you'll have a good life. I think most of the ladies desire such a man. Um, for men, I don't think so that they look so much on the, on the wealth perspective, maybe beauty and uh, character. Yeah, I'll say so. It all depends on who is dating who, because uh, in under rare circumstances that you find that uh, people are dating for love, mostly everyone is there for uh, an intention or is after something. Because uh, uh, it depends also on how you define love. Because I love someone because he is driving a good car, someone because of how he looks. So, but generally, in the, in the current generation, we are all dating, especially the women's side or the ladies. They are after, I want a man who can provide for me. Yeah. So I can say people are dating for, for resources, not exactly money. In this generation, I'll, uh, it's wealth. Uh, wealth. If you have nothing, okay, now this love, I count. Kamu una pesa, una lako. Okay, sana sana madem, madem like before day madem boy flani, lazima kuna boya kuna kitu ya kuofa. Na hiyo kitu ya kuofa ata si love. Pesa. That's why madem wengi actually nowadays wanaendea watu wazee. Ni wa masponyo. As for now people are dating for wealth, but it should be for love. Because ukiangalia most of the people when they start dating, they ask they ask each other what do you have? What do you have? Rather than you, you get you get into the relationship in the perspective of love and after wealth pamoja. 
it should be mtafute wealth pamoja whatever i come with is not yours it's mine but whatever we look it uh, together no yetu uh, i think both because uh, like kuna some people are looking for love they already have wealth but some people are looking for wealth not love like for both also at some point so in a, in a depend like mtu uh, anatafuta nini so for me opinion yangu ni kama like uh, inategemea na mtu na mtu maybe amekuwa broken so many times so penye anafika like atafuti tena love personally i'm dating for both ju wezi nipenda na una pesa eh hey, like lazima uwe na pesa madem lazima tunataka pesa at the same time pia unaweza date for love ju siwezi kuwa na date mtu anipendi ju nitakuwa na give like 100% anapeana tume 0% so lazima tuko equal now this is wealth yeah because um my reason being um there's nothing in this world which can move without money yeah we we currently living in a, um you know money move everything kind of life okay it's for wealth yeah to it for wealth you without without money hakuna hakuna mapenzi amwezi kula mapenzi obviously yeah madem basquiz especially in you ne zai de mapenzi ama pesa okay na jojo jibu but siseme um it 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 uh, very hard in this society to tell uh, but majorly uh mimi mwenyewe naweza sema people uh let's say for security purposes that for uh, money not uh, necessarily for for love but dating for wealth because when i go for love you just leave me and the relationship we, we, when i'm dating you i love you you're giving me nothing after we have break up sta kumbuka na kitu so i will go for money because you'll be giving me money i'll buy anything else i want so if we, if you leave me i'll be seeing them and feel like i was once in love in my opinion society yetu hakuna kitu kama well love exists yes but uh, it's not the major underlying in relationships right now yeah personally me na date mtu mwenye nataka tu anisaidie ku grow mentally yeah emotionally kila mtu ajipange <laughs> yeah. that's my opinion on this mimi ningesema for love lakini si kila mse una get but basically personal point of view eh naona ni for love but still kuna hiyo si si kila msi personally i feel like in this generation at this uh, point of time people date for money because love does not feed love does not clothe na kama huna kakitu it doesn't work on to our second question do you think your parent or guardian should be the custodian to your wealth let me know what you think Uh, I don't think if they should be custodians to our wealth because I think that that this is our time we are the we are the people who are supposed to to be custodians of our wealth and the parents I think their wealth is theirs and ours is ours so I think they should not dictate uh, how we use our wealth and maybe demand for Uh, maybe demanding for our wealth i think we should give out of heart uh, to them yes parents uh, actually they should be yeah uh, reason being you find that uh, like me uh, actually i'm from a poor background and uh, i'm a single parented so my parent for for instance let me say that uh, abruptly i become successful in life you know it is not good if for for example uh, for example if i find a lady or if i get married if i marry then the lady now wants to separate me from my parents with my parents i mean it is not good because it is my parents who have been struggling since primary level education to where i've reached so you want to find that after i've become successful now i want to run away from them it is not good so may i propose that parents should be custodians of our wealth 
no, I, I, I differ with that one. Actually, uh, it's not supposed. The wealth should be kept by the individual. If it is me, for example, a son, I should keep my wealth. Yeah, it's only maybe in terms of uh, when my mom or my dad needs uh, help, I can use my wealth to help um, my parents, my siblings, but actually the owner of the wealth, because the parents also are expected to have their own wealth. Do we keep for them their wealth? No, of course, they keep their, their wealth. So if we say we'll be keeping, uh, the, our parents will be keeping wealth for us, you see, Generations after generation, this wealth, when, for example, we have our, our family, we have our family, I have my siblings, I have my, my children, I mean, uh, in future, I have my wife. I don't have to gain back, for example, to my mom or dad who has uh, my wealth to do something, you see. It would be a bit shameful. For me, I feel so uncomfortable with that. So I, I feel everyone should keep his wealth. Yeah, it's right. Because... Uh who, in life, they are the ones who knows who have an experience on of what wealth is. When you, when you compare your parent, let's say she or he is uh, 42 and you are 20, what do you know? He has, he or she has uh, 20 years experience more than you. So I think it's right for parents to be in control, not really have full custody, but but give us direction on how to use this wealth, how to manage, and all that. Yeah, because uh, us as young men, we are. I think we are. We are on the wrong track on how we are spending on our money, kupiga sherehe and all that. And yet, there are so much important things we can do in life. Me personally, na juwa mamango akona dozangu azizi potelea. No na nike kadozangu kwa ne my wife. Shit, okay. Vitu zu happen. No na in case of divorce. Nowadays, we have a lot of people who are partners, who are not going to be able to get married. So, in case of divorce, we have a lot of people who are not going to be able to get married. We have a lot of people who are not going to be able to get married. Yeah, at some point, yes. Because maybe I'm not so much responsible to keep a wealth for myself. So, I put it for my parents because. All that long, he or she is responsible, but probably you are not. And uh, yeah, I support your custody, but then you should look what about your siblings. Maybe your siblings hate you, hate your um, prosperity, so they may, uh, they may check maybe your mom your wealth. So she's the one who is rich, you are not rich. We can decide that we can steal our mom's property or. As, the, as per the law, we, we should govern the, the, the wealth of our mom. So we, should, we can go to the court, file, file a case, that um, because it's our mom's wealth, to govern a sea water, maybe wakusita, wakusaba, to govern a sea water, so we'll go a lot there. Then the other thing, the mom's side can decide, I'm Jawai to be Mahari. So we are going to take back our daughter. Now when we take back our daughter, we take her with the, all the wealth. At the same time, where we end up with back, or what will you do? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay if you trust your parents. Yeah, because when uh, I like, say maybe Indians, you know, when like, when I want a family business, so they keep the wealth within themselves. She say me necessarily when I pay them, I keep the wealth, but but ni like ni evil. Like, come on, I trust them, Zazi. Especially maybe. For for males, you can you always trust your your mom. Like your mom is your first love. So no, so like you can keep uh, things to, like even I'm a mark or maybe I'm in a secret or something. So like when there's a pair of wealth, yeah, okay. It's not okay for parents to keep our wealth. Ju, I'm a big person. Nikona national ID. So akuna vanye ndani kamzazi kwa wealth yangu. Eh, so like I'm supposed to keep my wealth. Yeah. Ju, kuna time to attack. Alafu kuna muomba kupata ya mifanya. Kitu ingine na kuna kitu urgent. Kuna venye hauta ipata. Not really. I don't believe in that. Yeah. Um, your wealth, you create your wealth for your family, not your parents. Maybe if you can just create a portion of it, maybe just to help your, your, your parents. It's not bad to help, but not all of your wealth. On financial freedoms and uh, financial expressions, everyone is free for whatever they want. Um, 
kila mtu ana growing ya kifikiria ku invest in wazee wake one way or another yeah and um, if your way of doing that is actually having them handle your finances so yeah but uh, in our society well me na jua most of the people will end up seeing this ni watu wenye wako of the idea ya financial independence yeah so personally i'm of the opinion kana pesa yako manze mzazi utampea yake ya kando but wewe kana yako ai kabisa hizi miaka zote si ni wamekulea wamekucheki and everything sasa mbona sasa hizi vile umeanza ku get down unaanza kuona ni kama hauzi muamini na mali yako unaona so basically iko venye inataka pe unaiangalia from angalia kama third party usisi msiwewe yani unaona eh ukiangalia hivyo utaona vile anaweza kuokolea yeye akiwa na mali yako yeah 100% You know the reasons. E reason ya kimi mostly okay unajua mostly okay it's not sio poor sio poor parents ku keep but inategemea ni wealth na kaaje kama ni mob parents wanafaiwa wa keep. Unajua siku hizi my boys wanakuwa uh, wanakuwa reckless. Unapata uh, most wealthy okay ukiwa wealthy ukiwa young age ukwangi na long life. Unajua vitu tunafanya. Yeah watu wanakuwa watu wako reckless especially especially my youth men. Alafu na nyima demo dogo oh no my parents can't keep my wealth because they lose they will lose my money to give my sisters brothers they will misuse my wealth better my i keep mm, my parents can't keep uh, it, it, it depends na situation yako so if uh, uko sawa and you are able uh, you can be able to sana sana mentally uh, kama kama mentally uko sawa then you can be able to take care of yourself but uh, I, mean, i can i can talk about sana sana mentally uh, they can be custodians but otherwise uh, you are free to uh, take care of yourself and your property and your wealth personally i feel like your parents should not be the custodians of your wealth because first you are a grown up you are expected to take care of your own funds because you're financially literate second of all i feel like it's so uncomfortable kila time unapigia mamako anything small you need funds for small errands like imagine kupigia mzazi wako eti mom oh i need 50 bob for credit anyway let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <laughs>